Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about compile time polymorphism. So, you know, this is very, very simple concept to understand uh, the basics for discussing in our previous classes, object oriented programming basics. Uh, please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so, first we are going to understand what is the concept of polymorphism. Polymorphism means uh, same entity performing different operations in different scenarios. We call it as polymorphism. This is the one of the object oriented programming concept. So, let us try to understand. So, in Java we are going to provide polymorphism using method overloading. With we will understand with an example void m1 of this is a method m1 is a method void m1 of int a m1 is a method same entity method consisting of same name but working in different operations working uh, performing different operations in different scenarios this is implementing one logic this is implementing another logic same name working differently in different scenarios we call it as polymorphism so why we call it as a method overloading we call it as compile time polymorphism compile time polymorphism means here we are having two concepts compile time polymorphism runtime polymorphism so we are going to discuss about runtime polymorphism in our next class in this class we are going to discuss about compile time polymorphism so if you are able to identify which method we need to execute during the compile time, we call it as compile time polymorphism. So, method overloading is a concept which we can identify during the compile time. Why we are able to identify which method we need to execute during the compile time? Let us understand with this example. Suppose this is the example void m1 of void m1 of int a. So, we created an object for this class, class A, ob.m1 of ob.m1 of 2. So, during the compilation, we can identify that. Uh, so, based on the signature, when you are calling this method m1 of, if you are sending no parameters, means zero parameters, uh, then during the compile time, we can identify that, uh, yes, we have to execute this method. If you are calling using ob.m1 of 2, you are sending one single integer parameter. This method it is going to match. So, during the compilation, it is going to match based on the signature. Signature means here the based on the parameter values. This, this verification can be done during the compile time. We can identify during the compile time. That is why we call it as a method overloading is a compile time polymorphism concept. The same polymorphism can be obtained using other concept also, method over, overriding concept also. Means uh, one class is having M1 method, other class which is inheriting class A is also having M1 method with same name and same signature also. So, which method we need to call? That can be identified during the runtime. How we are going to identify using runtime that we are going to understand in our next class. Uh, Hope you understand this concept. It's a simple concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.